welcome back to dreamlight valley decor my youtube channel make sure to please like and subscribe and thumbs up this video and i know it's been a hot minute but it has been challenging to to say the least with a toddler but i'm finally getting back into it i'm trying to get back into the groove because this is so therapeutic for me and this build was actually inspired by Lanny Faye Gaming, I believe. I will tag her in the description. Um, she did this beautiful Bridgerton build. Love that show myself. But um, I've just been obsessed with these buildings anyway, as is. So I decided to continue trying different builds. And when I seen her put these buildings together, I said, oh, I gotta try this. So this is one of the many builds with these buildings i have three so far but this is the second one and as you can see i just playing around with the layout i wasn't sure if i wanted to use like the haunted mansion building or if i wanted to just use these i don't know it just i really wanted a very cohesive look if i could so but i also wanted it big and at the same time to fit in a space so it was really challenging i think that's the hardest part about these um buildings using them is making sure that they one fit in the space that you're going to use because they are pretty large but then also um making sure that it all goes together well and it was kind of challenging because i wasn't sure like do i want to use one building do i want to use three do i want to use four do <laughs> will they fit that was another thing will they fit and you know the way that i would like them to fit it didn't so um this was the best that i could do under the circumstances so and as you can see, when I was building, it was raining. Thank goodness the rain let up so that I could show you guys the beautiful build because my biggest pet peeve is when I'm trying to take a picture of a build after I finish it and it's raining and I just have to wait for that to stop. <laughs> it drives me crazy. So um, I definitely love the path, that brown path, that tiling kind of looking path. It's so beautiful and I think it looks so good together with the brick. I think they look very well like very good together and then it, the brown also goes well with the buildings so like the two together looks really good to me and I got my inspiration for this building stuff from Lainey but um my landscaping inspiration was I just get it from Pinterest so I just go on to Pinterest and I see what I like and then I try to recreate whatever I find and whatever inspires me and I definitely wanted this to be a more fancy build not like cottage core more like a Bridgerton vibe which is what people were commenting that they got from this you let me know does this give you does this build give you a Bridgerton vibe and when I was building it, I wanted to make sure that it looks, it looks, everything is like in alignment and that um, I used as many of like the fancy, I can't, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but uh, the fancy decor that I have. And you know, I just tried a few different things as usual. Like, you know, I tried different options, see what looks good then realign them and fix them and move them around you know those things from the beauty those big bases from beauty and the beast i'm pretty sure they're not supposed to just be empty um if you go to the beauty and the beast realm they fixed it a while back and it actually has plants in it and it would be nice if the ones that we use had plants in it because i think that would look so much better than just an empty face like an empty giant face or is it just me please let me know in the comments um is that something that the devs need to fix or is this just gonna stay like that because that would be so cool if they if it looked like the ones in the beauty and the beast realm not just empty like that so and 
and as you guys will see I, I love using the lighting as well um, and I was trying to figure out if I wanted to add a house as you can see but the limited space and the sizing of the homes just didn't fit with the vibe to me of what I was building like maybe if Lady Tramel's house was a little bit bigger it might look nicer but also the problem is is that there's not enough space with these big houses to make it like a big little like a little big little community <laughs> I hope you guys know what I mean but um so I really didn't like the vibe of it I tried I thought that you know I even thought about I was gonna thinking of I was thinking of pulling Remy's house over and seeing but I don't want to take away from that build either because I'm still trying to finish that in the Glade of Trust. I kill, still want that to be like a little town, town vibe in the Glade of Trust. That is what I'm going for. I just haven't really had the time to build that out yet. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do also over there. So with this one, I grabbed from the Beauty and the Beast um, build that I was working on that I never finished. <laughs> And I brought that table over with the lights because it just looks so pretty. I think it looks so good here. And then I want like little outside tables for you to eat. Again, it would be so cute if there was like a big building like this one um, that made it look more like a like a restaurant vibe, but or like little restaurant signs. So cute. But we have what we have for now. And again, you don't have too much space. It's like these buildings are so big that Disney keeps putting out but uh, there's not a ton of space so hopefully you know they open up some more biome soon or I don't know I don't know what they're gonna do so I made the custom chairs because I don't have any all black chairs I don't know if there is any in the game yet uh, but I wanted more like a metal look I really wanted like a metal um, those fancy looking chairs but we don't have those so that was the closest thing that i could do to that because all we have is like those wood chairs and i didn't want like the dining room chairs from like eat going out to eat so and then i used the those new um i forgot what they're called from alice in wonderland those are super cute I haven't really used these yet and there's like millions of ideas that you can do with this. Um, so many ideas, but I do love them. I think they're super cute and I love that they come in like so many different pieces. So it's so much more customizable because the, the plaza hedge that I used to use, I used to love trying to use them, but it's so big and you can't really like, there's no pieces. So it's kind of like a little bit harder to use. So this one is much better much easier to create different designs and things so i really love that and i hope they continue to like bring in stuff like that like to add to like in the aesthetics of whatever it is that we want to build um and then right now i'm trying to use the statues because i think that the statues definitely in you know that time period that i'm going for that Bridgerton vibe time period <laughs> I you know that's like a lot of art and statues in those big in front of those big castles and mansions and houses you have them in the gardens and all that so I use the statues for that you'll see in a minute here and um, just so you know the amount of uh, crafting I had to do for these paths it was completely unexpected I didn't realize how much space these buildings took up and how much I was gonna have to build <laughs> I mean craft the paths in order to fill up the space I was pretty shocked I thought I had plenty of material thank goodness I've had material from not building anything for like a few months <laughs> because the amount that I've used in this path was absolutely insane and I loved adding the the fountains too that like next to the water fountain I think that made it look so cute um 
I wanted to add some more greenery, but there just wasn't enough space. I probably could have spread it out a little more, but I like the way that it looked. Um, and then now I'm just trying to decorate around the buildings. Um, set it up to make it look much more, a little more realistic. And so as you can see here, by the way, I was trying to buy another Eric statue at Scrooge's shop. And for the life of me, I couldn't figure it out because it wouldn't let me. And I don't know why. Um, I don't know if the, it's been like kind of glitchy or if maybe like I looked a million times and it just wasn't there. So I don't know. I don't, it's been really glitchy for me. I don't know about you guys. I think it was really glitchy for me when I was ordering stuff from Scrooge's shop. And then it'll say like I have it does it where I like have items it'll say that I don't have items that I do and it'll be like oh look you have brand new items and I don't like I've had that item before it was just really weird it was very very glitchy um, and so I'm just and now I put it back to daytime because as you it was just getting so dark <laughs> Thank goodness we are able to change the time. And uh, so I'm just fixing up a few things, trying to make the layout look good. Um, it came out better than I expected. I, I honestly, like I'm really hard on myself when it comes to these builds. And I really didn't think it was that good. Like I was like, oh my God, I'm spending like two hours on this. And probably more than that. And. <laughs> And it's not coming out the way that I want. Um, and I'm like, it's it's not it's not what I pictured. Like, is it really that? Is it good enough? Is it not? And I get really really hard on myself. And I don't know why because I just really enjoy the process and enjoy the journey <laughs> because it's all about enjoying it and it being therapeutic. And if I like it, then it's good. Not I don't know. But it's hard. I'm really hard on myself. I want to make sure that you guys enjoy it too. Not just me. And um, I, I become very, very hard on myself when it comes to that. By the way, I don't know if you guys prefer me talking throughout this whole thing. Or if you guys prefer um, no talking and just music, if whatever you guys do like, please let me know in the comments because I would prefer to know <laughs> if you want to hear me talking throughout the whole thing or if you would rather just hear music the whole time. Because, yeah. And I'm just decorating around and trying to make the trees look nice behind it so it doesn't just look so bare and boring adding greenery really 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 helps the look of things instead of it just being so boring with nothing behind it um, I love how it makes it look and so I'm just adding greenery all around and then when we're done with that I will go ahead and walk you through even though it like, looks really, really, really big, there's not like a whole lot of walking through because it's very open space. It's very like, and it's not a whole, too much detail on this decor. So it'll be very easy to walk through. So let's go ahead. And so this is coming from like Frosted Heights section towards the, the build. I, I think the greenery, the new Alice in Wonderland greenery helps it look so much nicer and again I love that tiling tiling with the brick looks really good and I love the Beauty and the Beast little setup there it's so cute I really wish it was like a little like ooh, maybe the bakery would have been so cute right there but I don't have it <laughs> unfortunately I missed that in the shop and the fountain looks good I wanted a different fountain but I couldn't figure out I couldn't figure out which fountain I wanted to use and they were either too big or not big enough so it is what it is um, I used the Hercules statues that thank goodness they came back so I was able to use those because I missed them the first time around and I don't have the panda ones either because I don't think I got them from the star path 
I missed out on those as well. So that's very unfortunate. I didn't think about how I was going to end up using them in, in the future. And this is it, guys. This is the build. Um, this is the first of, I mean, no, this is the second one. Um, if you want to see the next one, I plan on posting that very soon. As you can see, this is where it's at in my valley. Um, I did another build, more garden-like with the same buildings, and it looks so good, as you can see over there. Quick little pants, and I plan on making these two connect. So if you want to see, stay tuned, make sure to follow and subscribe. Um, and hopefully you'll see the next one coming up soon. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.